Hello again, YouTubers and Pokemon card fans. 24-7 here again for Pokemon cards 24-7 with part number 9 of our Pokemon Black 2 DS walkthrough brought to you by ToyGamerInform.com. We're continuing along here on Route 20 about to battle this little preschooler. Hi there! Look at my awesome Pokemon! I think that's a preschool girl. Yes, indeed. You are challenged by preschooler Lynn. And she's got a lily pup. Level 10. We got Rialu as our starter still here. Backed up by Snivy and then not much beyond that. There are only two Pokemon that are really powered up for significant battling here. Quickly to start things off there. Very nice. Ooh, and a critical hit back at us. Ouch. What a mean little lily pup. And that takes care of him. <laughs> 131 experience, and Preschool Lynn is defeated. Uh, I'm not mad. My Pokemon will always be with me, even if we lose. Let's see. Just to show you here, we went in the big, in the tall, thick grass, or whatever. We found a level 10, 11 Pokemon. Let's see what we find in this standard grass. Just to show you the difference here. Level 4. And it is a P-Dove. Which may actually be useful in the next gym battle with the poisonous Pokemon. Um, so I'm actually going to switch to a weak Pokemon here. And actually try to capture it with a level 7 Psyduck here using Scratch. And like I said right now we only have 5 Pokemon in our party. Continuing from the last part. I deposited a Purloin. I didn't feel like using a Purloin or a Lillipup. As our lily pup didn't even have pickup. So, I said whatever Pokemon you catch next, we'll probably use our sixth Pokemon for now. And if we successfully catch this P Dove, we'll probably try to level it up a bit right away. Make it a little bit, you know, useful as quick as we can here. Shouldn't be too hard to capture. It is only level four after all. Let's see. Oh, using Growl on me will lower my attack, obviously. Uh, but we're going to try to catch it right now. I think I can get one more attack without knocking it out. But let's try a Pokeball here anyway. Hope for the best. One, two, three, success. So we got P-Dove for our team here, a level four male. That's actually the first P-Dove we've encountered in this adventure, I believe. This very forgetful Pokemon will wait for a new order from its trainer, even though it already has one. Interesting. And no nickname as usual. And he will go right to our party then. So, grab this Pokeball, which is an antidote. Alright. Probably should have switched something around there right away, but oh well. We got a Purloin, level 3. I guess I'll just do a quick one-hit KO here, I assume. Quick attack! Doesn't take much longer than running, I suppose. Even though the attack experience points on a level 13 Pokemon, basically can't even tell that it happened, so. <laughs> but, oh well. I'm going to do a very quick run here to heal up right away. Just because Rylo's already got... Decent amount of damage, and I want to be able to start leveling the, the P Dove. Maybe I can do a couple of quick battles with P Dove as my starter. Maybe I'll just do a couple of quick battles here while in Fluxy Ranch, and then heal up right away, too. Because, like I said, I'd like to get P Dove up a couple of levels really quick, which shouldn't be too terribly difficult. So, let's quick switch P Dove with Rialu. And let's see what we run into here in Fluxy Ranch here. Because. Well, I could just go in the tall grass and then switch out, but get some strong Pokemon that I'm not really ready to encounter just yet with only two um, Pokemon with significant power, so let's see what if uh, P-Dove can take him down all by himself here. He's got Gust and Growl as his only two attacks right now, but since Psyduck has, I think, Leer, Tail Whip, and Water Sport, at least two attacks that aren't going to damage me, gives P-Dove a decent chance here. Although, if that's all damage is going to do, I'll save time and just switch out. I can knock out two pack Pokemon faster by switching, I think, than otherwise here. We'll go to Rialu. 
Cause I like my little buddy. I don't know that Ryalu or Snivy will be much help in the next gym, but oh well. One, maybe two quick attacks here. Okay, we'll take two. The two damage, scratch attack, ouch. And down goes Psyduck. 14 and 37 for P Dove. So hopefully this war battle will get up one level anyway, and then we'll probably just do a quick heal up and then go back to Route 20. I would like to get through Route 20 on this part without it getting over like 20 meters or so. So we'll see what we can do here. Yeah, I don't even try, I guess. We'll just switch and get this over with. Yeah, he's almost to level 4 right now, and he's very little. So maybe we'll get him actually to level 6 quick. Hopefully with me just one more battle after this one, Azrael gives very little experience. I think like 25 maybe, total. Which means... Um... <clears throat> see, that'd be like 16 and 9 or something like that. For the two Pokemon. But hopefully if we do one more battle, we can give it to level, actually all the way to level 6. And then maybe can fend for himself a little bit better against the weaker opponents. Yeah, 9 experience for Alu and 22 for Padov. So 31 total. But we still get him to level 5. And that's all there we got. Alright, one more battle here in Floxy Ranch. Maybe two. Oh, it's an Azuril. Son of a gun. Oh, well, actually might still give us enough to get to level 6. It'll be close. So we'll do a couple of quick attacks again here and knock out another Azuril. Do 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 do. Bubble. We'll do how much damage? One damage. Ooh. Fierce. Quick attack. Tail whip, and another quick attack will knock it out. Try this quick as we can for you guys. <clears throat> um, well, since I am doing basically train right now, comment let me know. Do you want to see? Do you want to see combat battles or these type of things? You want me to edit out and just focus on like trainer battles, gym battles, and you know stuff that's significant within our adventure. Um, so I'm curious for your thoughts on that. So, Padov still needs another. Four experience points to level up. So we'll just do one more very quick battle here, hopefully. Oops. That took too long to find a Pokemon. You usually you find it quicker than that. And it's our third Azuril in a row. Joy. <clears throat> Let's give uh, Snivy a go this time, just for the heck of it. Maybe he can one-hit KO with Vine Whip. Although Azrael, I believe, is a normal type and not a water type. So Vima probably won't be super effective, but. Oh well. Worth a shot. Vine whip. Eh, but did about the same as Quick Attack did from Rialu. And Bubble, one damage to my Snivy as well. <laughs> Such a powerful attack. Which is why I'm not using our Azrael really at all yet, because it doesn't really have anything of use. So Padov goes to level 6. So caught up to most of our party here. We have a couple level 5s with us as well. So we'll heal up here and then head on back down. Oops. Kind of overshot her there. Head back down to route number 20. I think we have two, maybe three more um, trainers to encounter before we get to Verbank City, I think it was. Hopefully I got that right and I'm not messing that up. So, run on back down here. Probably in a couple of weak Pokemon. Yes, we got a double battle there and a trainer down there. So, two more battles here. And then we can at least enter Verbank City or do a little bit more training. I'll probably cut this video off in about 20 minutes, somewhere around there. So depending on how quickly we get through these two battles, we may do some train in the tall grass, and then enter Verbank City ultimately. So we are challenged by nursery aid Kimya. And she's got a Dunsparce, which I believe is the first sighting of Dunsparce in this adventure. So we will switch out our P-Dove, maybe get to level 7 in this battle. 
And we'll go to Snivy. I thought I went to Snivy. What does Pursuit do? <laughs> Gets an attack in before I can switch? I'm not sure. I may have missed a message there or something, I'm not sure. Oh well. And I actually don't think we'll do too much damage here. Yeah, not a whole lot at all. Ooh, roll up, but we avoid it. And roll up, if you don't know, will get stronger on every hit, so. Um, I'm gonna use Leer one time. Might still be better just to, you know, keep attacking, but maybe they'll help us out in the long run here. <laughs> and then they use Defense Curl to basically cancel that out. So that was very useful. Alright, let's just go back to the... Well, let's see if Tackle does more than Vine Whip did. It may. About equal. And we avoid rollout again. Is Snivy somehow, like, immune to rollout attacks? I don't know why he would be, but... Interesting. Reduce the PP of my Tackle by 4, you jerk! I can only use it 29 more times now! Whatever will I do? Alright. One, maybe two more tackles should take care of it here. And they did it again. I can only use it 24 more times. Jerk. Yep, one more tackle. Spite. Why do you keep on doing that? <laughs> so we basically use like 17 tackles in this match, you could say. Because they used up 12 of them from their spite attack. But through all that, they did no damage to me. Because they're two rollouts, we avoid them both. Wow. Huge experience, though. That may be multiple levels for P-Dove. So, level 7. P-Dove grows to level 8. Learns Leer. Level 9. Wow. Where can I battle more Dunsparce? Level 10? Jeez. So, P-Dove grew four levels in that battle. Awesome. And just like that, P-Dove is kind of relevant at level 10 now. Very nice. Thank you, miss. Alrighty. Let's double check here. Oh, we could have actually gotten it without going through the grass. I did not realize that. So let's do our double battle here. And then we can go train in the big grass without going through any of the weaker Pokemon, I guess. <clears throat> Two Pokemon, strong and strong, come together to become very strong. Um, one plus one isn't three. No shizzle. <laughs> Hopefully none of you thought one plus one equal three. So you were challenged by twins, Leah and Lily. And they have a couple of sun kerns. Level nine. Padov and Snivy, they can take care of business. Oh, oh yeah, Padov did get injured before I could switch him out last time. I forgot about that. Um, hmm. I'll actually use a Leer with Pidove since it does it to both Pokemon. Since he may not last long anyway. And then we'll use Tackle on whatever Sun Current's highlighted there. So. Tackle almost takes care of him right away. And then Leer on the both. Nice. Which did they absorb from? Pidove. Wow. You absorbed one. Congratulations. That was worth it. And growth, which increases their grass type moves. Or just attack in general, okay. And special attack. Okay, so let's see. We will use Gust on the Sun Current that is fully healthy. And Tackle should be able to knock out the other Sun Current. And we can get through this battle without actually switching out or any Pokemon or having anything knocked out of our own. Pidov, not enough to grow a level that time. These Sun Kerns, much weaker than the Dunsparce, apparently. And Gust, super effective. Maybe I should just use Gust from the start. Because if I had, they'd both be knocked out. Leer was basically totally relevant, so... Oh well. One more Gust. And, or one more Tackle, excuse me. Because he attacks first. Duh. So, no leveling up in that battle. Got spoiled by that Dunsparce. So that will be all for relevance in this video. We'll just do a couple of hopefully quick battles here. So I think it's quicker to get to the Pokemon Center here than going back. 
Maybe. Oh, yep. Hello! Oh, you! You are with six Pokemon! But if you have more Pokemon, your journey should be even more fun! Here, I'll give you these! So why don't you catch more Pokemon? And I obtained Great Balls! Nice! <laughs> and I put the Great Balls in the item's case. You know what they say! Cheerful company shortens the miles! Adios. I like that they say, you know, you have six Pokemon, you, if you had more, it's more fun. But, you know, I can only carry six, I have more on my PC, but whatever. Or someone's PC. And I have a phone call. It's Mom! Hi, it's your mom! Where are you right now? Wow, Verbank City! Complex there. Yeah. Nothing really relevant here, I don't think. You can probably read what she's saying if you want. But yeah, I'm, I don't feel like doing all those girl voices. I, I can only do so many different girl voices. And it probably would have been quicker just to, you know, go back and heal at the Foxy Ranch. Oh well. Roxy, don't try to stop me. I'm off to the Pokestar Studios to live up to my true potential. My dream is to be a ship captain and a movie star. And I think these are both female, but my voice is going to be shot if I do a much longer. So, anyways. Get real! You're a captain already, aren't you? If that ship doesn't move, you're going to cause lots of trouble. Oh, dear daughter. You split your time between your responsibilities as a gym leader and with your band, right? I can do that, too. And off they go. Two Pokestar Studios, which we'll encounter in probably a couple of parts from now. You dim-witted, dense, dumb, deaf, dippy, dorky, doltish, doofus! Doing double duty isn't the problem. You're causing problems for people. Keeping people from getting where they're going because of sheer selfishness, selfishness is unforgivable. I've had it. I'm going to the gym. So that is the gym leader of Verbank City that we will encounter. Probably not in the next part. We'll have to do some training first, probably. Take care of some other business in Verbank City and the Verbank Complex. So, since we're, by the time we actually get healed up here and go do any train, we'll be at 20 minutes, so we'll just close up here. So, if you haven't already, please subscribe. You can get email alerts for all of our future, future video uploads from Pokemon Cards 24-7. Give us a big thumbs up for another great part of our Black 2 walkthrough adventure. And check out toyandpro.com for your Pokemon card and our toy and gaming needs. As we get some new medals here. Step-by-step -step saver medal, which you get for saving frequently or something so um that'll do it here again comment let me know if you want to see me do all everything in this video series or if i should do you know some of my training off video where i'm just bad and well pokemon leveling up comment let me know that so i can compensate for future videos i may make and upload a couple of, or make the next couple parts before i actually have this video uploaded so may not see a reflection on your comments right away but comment let me know and i will make the adjustment asap so i thank you all for watching and i'll see you all next video